Coffee is a woody shrub that can reach heights of 12 meters. Most coffee is kept at a height that allows for harvesting of the fruits and therefore is not quite that tall. Coffee Arabica has its origins in Yemen and was documented in the 1200s. Coffee Conifera is more caffeinated, less acidic, and more bitter. Both of these are in the Rubiaceae. Coffee Arabica is a polyploid hybrid, which makes breeding quite challenging. The plant produces ovate leaves that are dark green in color and up to 12 centimeters in length. Plant produces flowers on the inside of the plant. The flowers are formed in clusters and are white. The fruits are these little cherries. Close up, they are clustered along the stem. They can also be clustered in tight whorls. You can see how they're nice and pretty and green over here. Later, they mature into a redder stage. If you take one and you cut it open, you can see the rind. The seed is the white area on the inside. This becomes your coffee bean. It has two little nutlets on the inside. World coffee production, June 2022, was 166 million bags. A bag is 60 kilos. That's about 10 million metric tons. The countries that are with the largest production are Brazil, Vietnam, and Colombia. Coffee is produced worldwide in tropical climates. It is often grown at higher elevations. Coffee is planted from seed. The seedlings are then planted in the field. Coffee is basically what we call a plantation crop. It is planted in large areas. You can see in this picture it is planted in rows. This is a rather large plantation area that was just coffee. Coffee is harvested by plucking the cherries off of the tree. When they harvest the coffee, they bring the coffee inside of the little fruits to these pads over here. They will dry them down on here until the inside of the outer part of the fruit dries up. It becomes hardened. You can pick up the fruits, you can rattle them, you can keep them for a long period of time. This would be done exposed to sunlight. When you don't have that, you can put them in a dryer like this one. You've got a firebox attached to the dryer. Out of the firebox, you've got hot air. The hot air goes in and gets blown into the dryer. This is going to cause the fruits to dry down. As the fruits dry down, you can have them at the moisture level you you want, then you can store them. The dryer bin has an opening on the side. You pop off the two levers, it will allow the material to fall out. The material is collected in a bin down below where they can remove it outwards. If you dry down the fruit, you keep it whole. You can preserve it for a long period of time. We're talking decades. If you remove the seeds and you dry them down, you have to consume it within six months or the quality really starts to drop off. This has the outer shell of it removed as well as the outer fleshy layer material. It takes quite a few of them to make up a kilo. After the seeds are removed, you roast the beans in specialized roasters. You get coffee beans that look like this. You grind it up, you get coffee grounds. You brew it up, you get your cup of coffee. Or the coffee grounds can be packaged. There are many different degrees of coarseness that they can be ground. Each will have its specific method of brewing. Coffee is basically done in one main way. From that, from that, there are a lot of variations on the way you can put it together and brew it. This is from a Brazilian point of view as far as coffee preparation. You've got a video that shows how to prepare coffee, how to make it palatable for everyone.